export report. So we're going to use a different strategy. Now we're going to create moments, but those moments are going to be about eight. That means I will have a set of moments created by this force about A and another set of moments created by this force about A. Now, since the forces are actually the same in magnitude, we can recycle the information that we already had. That means we renew the force X and force Y would have values of 37.58 newtons for the force X and 13.68 newtons for the force Y. That would apply for both forces. The combination of the forces with the distances, the one to, uh, interesting thing that's going to change how they actually interact about the point A. For that interaction, we will have to work with two sets of distances. That means distance X from point A to this point, this distance, and the distance Y from this position to here, which is going to be this distance. The second set of distances is going to be from point A to this force, or this point, it's going to deliver this distance, and from point A to this point, which is going to be in Y, this distance. We can work with a set of two rectangle triangles with different impotenusa, but with the same angle. So the first one from A to B, like that. We'll have this rectangle triangle that goes from the position A to the position B. We know there we have this force applied in here. However, now the force, we know how it's going to be decomposed. So no need to recalculate that part. We're only going to care about the distances. Like this. We know the hypotenusa for this section is going to be this one. The distance is going to be 390 millimeters and at the angle 55 degrees. That means we can calculate that distance x1 and distance y1. Distance x1 can be calculated as 0 0.39 meters, which is the hypotenuse expressed in meters, cosine of 55 degrees. Dx, sorry, dy1 can be calculated as 0 0.39 meters, sine of 55 degrees. We're looking for this distance and this distance. And we know the angle and we know the hypotenuse. So here we can use trigonometry to calculate them. Now, why is this important? Because the component in X of this force is going to interact with this distance. The component in Y of this force is going to interact with this distance. So we need to calculate this distance and this distance. Also, for this other force, since we changed the application point and we got a different application point, we can expect distance to be different. So we work with another rectangle triangle, like this. Uh, didn't. Like that. to move it right here. Again, the angle is going to be exactly the same, 55 degrees. 
now we're going from point A to point C. That means that the hypotenusa will change. We got more extension. That extension is going to be 390 and 270 added. That means 660 millimeters. So we got to calculate distance Y2, which is this distance, and distance X2, which is this distance. So the X component of the force of 40 neurons in here apply at C, it's going to interact with this distance. The vertical component of this force is going to interact with this distance, the ones that we're about to calculate. So the X2 can be calculated as 0 0.66 meters, which is my hypotenusa, cosine of 55 degrees the y2 equal to 0 0.66 meters times sine of 55. With that in mind, we can just keep numbers for the proper calculation. dx1, dy1, dx1, that dx1 is going to be 0 0.2236, 0 0.2236 meters. dy1 is going to be 0 0.319 meters. This one, dx2, that dx2 is going to be 0 0.3785 0 0.3785 meters and the y2 it's going to be 0 0.5406 meters now we got all the means to calculate all the moments about a let's duplicate this duplicate. So we can erase everything from here and start with the combinations of distances and forces. Like this. We use delete this. So we get forces, we get distances. So a first moment is going to be given by force x of the upper force times distance y2. We can call it moment a1 equals distance y2 force x then moment a2 it can be distance x2 force y moment a3 distance y1 force x moment a4 distance x1 force y. Now these interactions are going to be with the same forces so the difference is going to be the distances and the senses. For example for the moment A1 this is going to be the force and this is going to be my distance. The pivot point is going to be A. That means this force and the distance will create a moment that goes clockwise. That means negative. For the other force, the force Y, which is going to be this one, the interacting force 
it's the one that goes with this action line, this distance right here, dx2. And they're creating also a negative motion. This is pushing down. That means if the pivot point is say this thing will go like this. So negative. Then the moment created by the force Fx apply it at B. This one right here. And the interacting distance. This one. Now this interaction will create a rotation to counter clock. That means we'll have something like this. Positive. And for the last one, it's going to be the force Y going down. The interacting distance is actually going to be this one right here. This is going to be my interacting distance. Oops, this is actually going up. So we have a problem right there. No matter, doesn't matter. This is going to be my interactive distance for this force. That's going to create a rotation like that. That means we'll have it negative. So if we change the sense of this force, we'll cut positive. That's going to be the orientation that we get. And we can just replace the values to obtain the moments. So distance x1 times force y, that's going to be 0 0.223 times 13.68 negative. Negative. The other one. It's going to be distance y1 force x 0 0.319 times 37.58. This one is going to be positive. We can add it at the end. It's going to be positive, negative. This one right here, dx2. 0 0.378 times 13.68 positive and this one right here 0 0.5406 times 37.58 negative the results are going to be MA1, Y2, and Fx. This is going to be minus 20.315 Newton's meters. I don't have enough space. Let me see if I can make some space here. Perfect. We we'll have negative twenty point three fifteen newtons meters. Then we'll get five point one seven one newtons meters positive eleven point nine five eight newtons meters positive and minus 3.05 newtons meters negative if we add them all together the total moment about a is going to deliver a 6.236 newtons meters negative which corresponds to the previously calculated results